for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing of the Mad Cheese as always. Got an update video for you guys today. Today, this is the fourth patch uh, that's EA's released. I know every week I do a video on Thursday or Friday talking about like the player ratings changes, who's gone up, who's gone down, roster updates, and stuff like that. This is not that video. That'll probably be out tomorrow because that typically that information comes out Thursday night uh, during the Thursday night football game. But this here is an actual gameplay update. There's going to be franchise mode uh, news, stuff like that uh, it's a major patch it's not as big as the last patch but it's definitely a major patch so I'm gonna go over all that stuff in today's video but as always if you guys want to see more videos like this every time there's a major update like this if you want me to keep you guys up to date make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section so I'm gonna start off with gameplay updates there were several major gameplay issues uh, glitches that people were exploiting that apparently are getting patched. The first one I want to talk about is one that I talked about on my channel. I made a whole gameplay video about a guy who was running the Gun Deuce Close RPL Read Flat Wheel glitch, uh, which is basically just a man glitch. Um, but I made a video about that, and I'm, I'm surprised at how many people were telling me that that's not a glitch. Like, how is it not a glitch? And I said to some people, I'll post comments about it, but I said to these people, I was like, you got to be kidding me. I said, I'm putting this video out now because I guarantee you the EA patches this before the next when the next update comes out and sure enough it has two mentions in the patches so it says here it fixed an issue preventing man coverage from covering the tight end in a wheel route in rpo plays such as the gun Deuce close rpo reflat wheel then it also says fixed an issue allowing a receiver to be uncovered by sending him in motion on the gun Deuce close rpo reflat wheel both of those things my opponent was doing in that gameplay so if you're one of the people that were telling me it wasn't a glitch like wake up bro i even said in that video that that particular play was banned in uh, competitive tournaments by ea so i don't understand what was missing there uh so that's apparently fixed the rpo reflat wheel glitch should be fixed i'm not sure i didn't test that i did test some of these things which i'll get into later in the video but i didn't test that one yet because it wasn't a glitch that i ever really used there's another one that i reported on not too long ago uh which i'm sure a lot of people are going to be upset about out of the colts playbook the wing slot pa double dig where you could come out in that play and then audible to another play and the tight end would be completely uncovered because that particular play had an issue where the tight end didn't have an icon assigned to it so that's also patched so for people that wanted that and i did make out a video about that that was in one of my uh, glitch routes videos i think it was the second one that i made i also made a glitch routes video yesterday so if you guys need some new glitch routes i'll have a link in the description for that video uh, which came out yesterday but ultimately that that glitch is gone too i guess they they just fixed that probably by giving them an icon uh so that that wouldn't happen anymore but that was something that people were using for a very long time pretty much since the game came out another uh glitch that has gained popularity recently that was actually in madden 22 is the uh, the pump fake glitch uh, where we basically you could just run with the quarterback if you're playing against the zone coverage and no none of the zone defenders would see you. All you really have to do in this particular glitch, which doesn't work anymore, is pump fake and then throw away at the exact same time, and it would glitch any zone defenders. The only defenders that would see you at that point uh, would be the pass rushers. At that After that, all the zone defenders would just run away from you. This is another glitch I really didn't talk about. A lot of people in the Madden community did, uh, but I, I didn't want to spread you know stuff like that because these some of these are really annoying, and it's just not... Uh, it just doesn't make the game fun. So that's probably three of the biggest glitches that uh, you could do in Madden 23 in gameplays that all apparently got patched. And I'm all for it because I didn't use any of those. Now, another one that had me concerned that I had to go check out for myself was here it says fixed an issue allowing deep third and quarter zone defenders to break Wait, defenders break too quickly versus comeback routes. Now, that confused me because I thought what they were saying was one of the most popular ways to score one-play touchdowns against cover three and cover four is have a receiver in a comeback route to basically pull down the outside third or the outside uh, quarter, the deep quarter zone like they're talking about. And I went into uh, a practice mode to see how it changed. And sure enough, it, it looked like the exact opposite of the way that I read that. It looked like they wouldn't fall for the comeback routes anymore and they would stay back deep in coverage. When I went into practice mode, though, it was the exact opposite. It was there basically biting even harder 
on the comeback routes. Like the comeback routes looked like it looked like they tried to address that in the opposite direction and make it so that those zones would shut comeback routes down because they're playing it so much tighter. So I was concerned that I have to go through and change a bunch of plays in my ebooks. Uh, luckily, I don't have to because it looks like it's going to work even better now. But I'm sure once I put out this video, I'll still get a lot of people asking me, emailing me for updates uh, for the ebooks that they bought because that's typically how it goes. But according to what I'm looking at here at the moment, and I won't know until I play the game a couple times, maybe throughout the next couple days, but it looks like nothing's really changed as far as like the way the zone coverages react and stuff like that. If anything, they might have gotten even better when it comes to the one-play touchdowns that I put out in my, in my uh, ebook. So if you're watching this, uh, I don't think there's going to be too many updates, at least right away. Hopefully I won't get flooded with a bunch of emails uh, about that. No, th those are the biggest ones. Now, that's the, the four major ones that, that stand out to me. Other than that, we got a lot of small ones, which I'll try to go over really quickly. Like, they added Jalen Waddle's signature celebration, uh, which I, you know, unless you use the Dolphins, who really cares? I don't really use the Dolphins, but uh, if you're a big, if you're a Dolphins fan, I'm sure you care. But at the same time, that's not a huge one. Um, fixed an issue. This one here is kind of interesting because I was starting to use this quite a bit, but it fixed an issue where the running back putting on a streak. Uh, in the hot route menu would run straight through the line which was actually a really good way to like beat like certain zone coverages like cover four and cover two which i hadn't really made any videos about but now they fixed that so that they're gonna have to go around the line first which uh, obviously uh, is helpful uh, for for the defense so that's something that i don't know if people were exploiting yet but it was something that i noticed recently that definitely could be exploited Fixed an issue preventing QB throw styles to update in Ultimate Team. Um, I don't even, you know, I don't really, I haven't played a lot of Ultimate Team this year since it's kind of been crappy. Uh, fixed an issue with Mac Jones passing animation trajectory. I wasn't aware of that one. If you're aware of that one, good for you. Uh, fixed an issue preventing play art from updating, reflecting adjustments made to blocking and pre-play. Well, that one I'm, I'm kind of aware of, but it was usually where like the defense. I didn't even know that the play art uh, reflected blocking uh, adjustments, which is cool. So hopefully we'll see something new there. But I know on defense sometimes if you if you put some like if you slant your defensive line outside, it doesn't do anything, and they have to do it again. So I thought that they were talking about that, but it says offense, it says blocking. So uh, hopefully it'll be both. A couple of other small ones. Apparently whip routes are being run the wrong direction after being pressed. Sometimes sometimes you would get the ball back after scoring. You know which I never saw, so that was really rare. It says they fixed that. Fixed an issue when it comes to sometimes defenders warping uh, to, uh, to, to you know, knock balls down, stuff like that. All small stuff. Uh, and also, something that's probably not going to be in this update that happened recently is it did update the NFL Live uh, games where basically we're to week 10 now. I don't think they're going to fix that again for a long time. Uh, but that's something that they fix where, you know, if you go to the lot and want to play a game, want to play now, it's going to be week 10 where it was week one for like nine weeks, which was super stupid. So if you're an Eagles fan like me, every time you go into play live, you're going to see Eagles, uh, Eagles Washington, the team that beat us. So that's going to be fun. Uh, hopefully, I think that's going to get updated again like towards the end of the season. I don't even think you're going to see it like week 17. So that's going to be all we see. Uh, NFL Live playbooks have been updated quite a bit. They add the iForm close to the Bears and Steelers, iForm Pro and slot close to the Broncos. Added uh, strong slot to the Bucks. Added iForm strong close to the Chargers. Uh, you know, nothing crazy. They did add a lot of pistol formations, though, to the Falcons, which is really cool because that is starting to look more like the Ravens playbook now. They got the pistol strong, wing, wing slot, tight slots, wide off trips, and full house all in the Falcons. Uh, that's the live playbook. So you basically have to select that. And I might actually try them out uh, because the Falcons play was pretty cool. And then they have all those plays, which, like I said, are probably direct ports over from the Ravens, which is one of my favorite playbooks. It's pretty cool. The Wildcat is now in the Giants. I-Form Close is now in the Ravens, which is a really good formation. I-Form Slot, Pistol Wide Trips, and Gun Heavy uh, Saints. Gun Heavy Saint, which I'm not even, I never even heard of that formation. I'm going to have to check that out. But the Saints playbook, which I use all the time, got three new formations. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to look into those because I use the Saints playbook in pretty much, you know, the majority of my gameplay. So I don't even know what the Gun Heavy Saint is, but that sounds pretty cool. Uh, added Pistol Full House to the, uh, the Seahawks and then added Single Back uh, wing tight Z doubles off close wide trips iPhone Pro strong slot uh, <laughs> strong Z close to the Texans so two two playbooks at least got major updates 
And the Texans was already a pretty good book. So that's another play worth checking out. Added I-form close and slot close to Vikings. So some good updates there. The franchise updates. Got a couple of these. One that was actually supposedly fixed a couple days ago that I never reported on was the 30-second user glitch was apparently fixed. Now, there is a specific dev note here saying that um, the last update, they did fix several server issues when it comes to um, the title, when it comes to franchise mode and the title update. It does say there is also an attempted fix going live live today for the draft revert bug so it wasn't fixed yet but they're going to attempt to fix that today it's just a separate portion from this update it's not in this particular update but is going to be uh, rolling out probably later today it'll probably be part of the player ratings update uh, or something of that nature and I'll, and I'll try to talk about that more tomorrow when i make a video about that so a lot of smaller issues uh, were solved here. None of these issues are really major issues that I heard a lot of people complaining about, like the, the franchise breaking issues. But apparently difficulty settings were carrying over, uh, and they fixed that. Uh, the Washington football team, a lot of times the commanders were still called the Washington football team in the league history screen. Uh, they fixed that. Fixed an issue where some teams were not prioritizing the right archetypes at QB says they fixed that fixed an issue where some players with abilities were not appearing in the X factor database so apparently they fixed that fixed an issue where the season goal was displaying in the post game goals screen after preseason games there's also a lot of NFL authenticity updates but I'll leave links in the description for the entire um, list so that you guys can check that out uh, because I don't really want to go over things like cleats and stuff like that I don't think anybody really cares about that necessarily but there was a lot of new cleats added to the game apparently some new Jordans and stuff like that if you really care uh, they also did some player likeness uh, changes to quite a few players but for the most part it's not like the type of um, you know I mean the, the players here are not star players by any means I'd say the biggest names are guys like uh, Nick Bolden Eric Stokes um, you know stuff like that Adefi uh, Owa um, you know Creed Humphrey like there's some good players on here but is this not really uh, something that I don't think anybody's really going to notice it also says he updated the uh, the field art on uh, the Broncos Titans Rams Eagles and Colts but with, when they say Eagles I know that we, they changed the, uh, the the printing the way that the Eagles name is printed so I'm guessing they changed that over to match the current year uh, and that's pretty much it I mean there's nothing really major here the major ones I pretty much got through already so I'm going to go and end the video there if you guys want to see uh, more videos like this every time there's a major update like this let me know in the comments section hit the like button other than that thanks for watching man let's out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below